be a catwalk trainer? Like, how did you get that started? Well, I always say back in high school, I used to train uh, some girls' school, just not knowing what I was doing. But uh, as more I progressed, I went to campus, side training, more and more. I became a model myself. Okay. And then I have background in psychology. So when I combine those two things, I can deal with any kind of personality. Background in psychology and modeling. Yeah. Uh -huh. Why the psychology? Why psychology is so important in this? Well, actually, even I might have in psychology, but, but it's just because I want to understand different personalities. True. So that, so that when I train, someone can do whatever kind of something and I can understand. I know I how see. to help. Because you know why they're doing why they're what they're doing and you know how to communicate to them. That's it. And you know, as girls, we can be a lot of work. You're working with a lot of girls, like 40 girls right now. 45. 45. Yeah, 45. What has been like some of the challenges would you say so far working with the girls? Well, for now, it's because they all come from different cultures, especially because they come from 45 different counties. Okay. And they represent the ambassadors for tourism from their counties. Wow. You know, everyone comes on board with it, what they grew up with. Right. What they understand from their counties, their culture, their diversity, investment forums, tourism sectors, all those sites they find in their counties. That's what they bring in. I love it. You know, for us, it's just to blend them and sell these counties as one Kenya. I love that. Yeah. So you're the one who's trained them on that catwalk. Is somebody going to fall? Because people are always falling. No, no, they can fall. Why not? Because I believe in what I do. It's foolproof. Ah, yeah, I can show you that. We are going to be tuned in, of course, tonight to see yeah. if that doesn't happen. But, like, uh, just tell the guys at home, what should they be looking forward to? What's the big deal about Miss Tourism Kenya? Why should they tune in? Miss Tourism Kenya is what sells tourism as Kenya. Because tourism is one of um, the sectors that bring the highest right. revenue in Kenya. And these beauties, as you see, on my background, you can see some of them are still doing the final touches in mm -hmm. the choreography. You can see the set is almost done. And you know, we, we psyched up. We I psyched love that. Up. And I believe that everyone who will be tuned in today is a show of a lifetime. Hey, we're definitely going to be tuned in. Mr. T, what do you think about Miss Tourism? What are you looking forward to seeing tonight? Um, I just want to see a hot lady. <laughs> there's, nothing much, there's nothing much I can expect. So you know me. <laughs> Mr. T is tuning in for the hot ladies. We're tuning in to see some really talented ladies. 45. <laughs> and they have all worked very hard for this moment. Yeah, it's been a hectic two weeks training. Every day, long hours of training, yeah. all kinds of training. You know, right now, they just whole package. I love yes. it. So now, how long did it take to prepare for this moment? You two worked weeks. with these girls? Two weeks. Just two weeks? Two weeks. Wow. And you can believe in those two weeks, we can pull this kind of a show. It's been hectic for them. Right. For us as trainers, the faculty, for our secretariats, for people of Vihiga, for Miss Tourism Kenya, this is going to be a show. Okay, we're yeah. definitely here to represent. You guys don't want to go too far because, of course, we still have our first lady who's representing Narok County, Tourism oh, in Narok. Okay. She's coming yeah. through. And have a lovely young lady, too, who was a former Miss Tourism Kenya. At least she's still holding the title, actually. Right? Yeah. Until sure. that moment yeah. tonight yeah. when we crown the new title. So you don't want to go anywhere. I'm going to keep that a little surprise for you, but you definitely want to keep it locked. Two teams straight up. Of course, this is all about the music and our interviews and the few people that we get to talk to. But keep it locked because T is going to play some music and we're going to come back with some more interviews. I don't know.